Hello and welcome to the registered trademark. Is that what it stands for? I think. Yes. I think Hello. I think this represents trademarks. Whenever you see this, I think. Yes, it does. Yes. So we cannot use Capcom, the word Capcom, as as, a, as like a product. I, I am I am sorry because it is a registered trademark. I'm sorry. Oh, we could wow. just call it Copcam instead. Mm, I, I guess I guess I guess we can do that. This uh, or this maybe new... Capsipom. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, I should zoom out. Oh. That's a new Dim Sapphire trailer, by the way. Hiya. It's like, it's the hurt lady. That is, yeah, that is mean, that is mean. It is lady, by the way, lady, lady, lady. lady. Yes. Oh, oh, no. That's lady. Her, her face, she's hurting. Uh, I've never seen her before. Is that one of, like, Dante or something in Devil Trigger? Yeah, that's his Devil Trigger for him. Okay. Hmm. And that's him coming out of it. Hmm. That's like an evil dude man person. Yeah, I remember in the early trailers when I saw him, I thought it might be like some twisted demonic form of Virgil, but after hearing the speech, that doesn't sound like a very Virgil thing to oh, say. Oh, 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 another registered trailer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. The five isn't registered, but Dummy Cry is. Did you see Lady? Wow. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, good, uh, good point. We have, to, uh. <laughs> we have to look more closely at the Lady here. That's not Lady, that is Dante. Nope. That is V. That's Nero. There she That's the... Uh, oh, that's... Ooh. That, that's lady, 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 lady. Yes. Is, her name, is that previous person's name gonna be Cat again? Nico? Oh, is it Nico? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Dante? Nero? V? <laughs> Nero? <laughs> this is Nico, from, uh, also known from uh, GTA 4. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is uh, Trish. This! Gloria! This is Gloria. This is Gloria. Right. Okay. That's good. This is Hello. Random Girl. I I want to say that there are <clears throat> images like this in DMC4 in the uh, DMC office, which is based on like the lady face model or something, which is kind of funny. Oh, yeah. why did they mark uh, this? And maybe that's where uh, Redgrave City is. Sure, <laughs> but but that's not London. Oh. Oh well. Oh well. This is like the. Then their trailer that Reboot Dante came out of with a baseball bat and a pizza. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> Unforgettable scene. Sure. <laughs> the game still looks like Dimsy Fire. I want it. Yeah. Uh, well, they just they still look really really good. I hadn't actually watched this yet. I've only watched it once so far. I've only watched it a couple times. It's a pretty good trailer overall. They show more. Is it, is it stuff there's a giant chicken? On. Oh yeah. Did he say get lit? Yeah, I think he did. I think we should split into two groups and cover God, it's bloody. Good idea. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Looks amazing. Two six five one. Okay. I wonder if that means anything. So now right. they show we... D stuff. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. maybe, so... maybe maybe we'll just slow this down. Yeah. Right. So what do we think about the voice of the bird? Because I think it sounds goofy. Wait. The bird has a voice. Yes. I didn't expect it to talk. Go back to the start or to this part. There he is. Oh god! Hmm. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I think it sounds fine. I think yeah, it's volume up. So, V is interesting because he relies on summoning things to fight for him. Yeah, also, I want to point out, the cat, extremely reminiscent of the shadow enemies from Devil May Cry 1. Extremely. Huh. Hmm. Also, um, our move he does there. Uh, any time now. Where he Anytime flies now. Very soon now. This move? I think here. Here? That that looks like a Virgil move. That tube looks like a Virgil move. Mm, yeah. Also, Final Fantasy move. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, when I saw the Shadow Cat thing, that... I was like, I'm very excited. I've wanted Shadows to come back from Delmico Realm for ages. 
Is isn't it isn't that isn't it even called shadow? Like that uh that uh cut thing he can summon? Uh well that's what the enemy is called in DMZ one. I don't know what it's called in I, I'm pretty sure I went to the official <coughs> DMC5 website, it showed the names for all the things you can summon three of them and oh. pretty sure one of them is, is called Shadow. I did not know that information had been revealed. So this yeah, three th it... the three things he can summon, like uh the cat thing and a thing I, I forget of. Maybe the, the bird? bird? Yeah, and this this gigantic thing, which is some uh, super thing. Maybe only in Devil Trigger mode he can he can trigger it. Why does he have white hair now? I think it's his uh. Devil Trigger form. Oh wow, the bird can shoot. That's kind of funny. Hmm. You can shoot him up. And hey, confirmation that V also fights that first boss of Nero's at some point. Oh yeah. Ah, no, yeah. Now we get to see Dante's new toys I and some old returning know. toys. Yeah, this is the Faust. <laughs> that was the Faust hat based on the Faust enemies in Devil May Cry 4. Huh. Didn't realize that connection. Yep. Look at his broken face. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's on, like, like Kylo Ren, he has some problems. Oh, by the way, the music playing now is um, subhuman, but they got a new uh, lead singer for the song. Hmm. Yeah. Come on, little puppy. I'll take you out for a while. Rewind a bit to hear it again. I mean, it still sounds terrible, but... Yeah, I still don't like the song. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they would just replace the song entirely. And you need to see this no such Maybe with a song by Britney Spears, that would be an, a big improvement. Come on, little puppy. I'll take you out for a while. <laughs> I agree. Oh, he's Killick. What are they? That staff is actually an alternate form of the Cerberus weapon that's returning from Devil May Cry 3. Starlight is very bad. It's Starlight. Oh. And then we get multiple playable characters fighting together on screen at the same time. It's multiplayer! Oh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What's happening here? <laughs> Tentacles. Oh. Dante just called Nero dead weight. How rude. Mm -hmm. And then some good news. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about this. Bloody Palace. Bloody Palace? Yeah. Yep. But um, mm -hmm. it won't be at launch. I'll add it uh, oh. a month after release. I also... I kind of wish the environment for it looked a bit more appealing. I thought it had a really cool looking 4, but this just looks like generic demon area. I think it looks very good. I guess they wanted it to be consistent with the art style of the rest of the game that we've seen yeah. so far. And then... Hype somewhat deflated. <laughs> uh, Alright, go back, go back to that. We, we need to talk about this. <laughs> so, yeah, if you own an Xbox One, you can play the Gamescom demo right now. Yes. If you don't own an Xbox One, f fuck you, basically, is what Capcom mm. Microsoft are saying. So it sounds, like, it sounds like the first demo it will forever be only on Xbox One, but this does also say that there's going to be more demos and they will not be exclusive. Yeah, I don't. That, they that probably wouldn't say implied. first demo if there was only going to be one demo. Yeah. Which gives me a little bit of hope, but oh, I want to play it now! <laughs> I want to play it now! <laughs> Well, there, there is one of us here who does own an Xbox One. Hmm. <laughs> Who could it be? <laughs> could it be? Hey, he disappeared. <laughs> I played it earlier. Maybe we should uh, start talking about uh, that, about your experience playing the demo. Yes. Uh... Um, first of all, I, I, I'll, I will quickly mention that the demo is based on the Gamescom demo, which we talked about in one of the previous uh, podcasts. I think JTAG and Syslas tried it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I'm, I'm very curious to hear what Akamet uh, thinks because he was a huge fan of the DMC reboot, but not a gigantic fan, fan of DMC 4, right? So he has a very um, different, different perspective. Well, I didn't dislike 4, but I just never finished it. And I guess there's reasons for that. The um, I don't, There's a lot of similarities from both of them. Like, those are the only two DMC games. Like, I finished the reboot and I haven't finished 4, but those are the only two I've ever experienced myself. And like there's like the demo of five seems to be taking a lot from both my experiences of each game, which I think is good because 
Like, there's really a lot of really good things about four that I enjoyed, even though I didn't finish it. Uh, based on what you remember, do you think Nero plays worse or better in in five compared to four? Compared to four, um, well, I've only gotten to like I tried it once so far with the automatic thing enabled. I want to do it again without that turned oh, on. Oh, you you you've so, you've only played it with it on. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm that that, that would lead to a very back different back. experience. I can I can remember trying automatic in four, and it's it's very automatic. You will just do moves practically at random. You have yeah, little, I found myself like I I remembered. It, it's been a while since I played the reboot or four, but I remembered some moves that I could try to do, and I was trying to trigger those, but it was very hard to manually input anything with automatic turned on. Automatic, automatic. So yeah, I'll play it again with that turned off. But like, it felt really smooth and responsive. Anyway, mm -hmm. even though wait, it's wait, wait. We need to pause on the screenshot because this I guy here. I like this purple. This guy looks so much like Nello Angelo from the Is back. Is that like the uh, Virgil thing in one? Yes. There are like especially him? these look like his the curved horns he had, and he did have a very large sword in the MZ one. Was it also two of them? Uh, what do you mean? Is it, I mean, there are two of them. Hmm? This? This? Isn't it? There are two of them. What? No, isn't that just the sword he's holding? Isn't this just the head of this? Doesn't this just look the same? I thought it was the sword he was holding. Now that you mention it, it does look like a second. I don't, I don't think this looks like a sword. I think it looks like a sword. He had a really big sword in one. I don't know. Mm. Well, uh, back to the TMC5 demo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What else did I say to you <laughs> earlier? Uh, I think you <laughs> mentioned that uh, I think the, you didn't sound too impressed by the visual design of Nero. Oh, well, yeah, I, that's just a personal opinion, though. Like, that's very subjective. But I, I thought Nero is a less attractive version of Reboot Dante. That's just how I feel about him. Also, the, uh, the, um, so the first, this demo ends with a boss. Mm -hmm. And that, like, intro cutscene, like, parts of it reminded me of, like, DMC4 bosses, but it, it screamed the, <laughs> the kind of, uh oh, hello? Akamete? Yeah. Uh -oh. hmm. Hello? You you just uh, broke up suddenly. Oh. You um, said the kind. Yeah, and then, uh, then you just stopped. Yeah, my the voice quality went to red for some reason on Discord. Uh, hmm. That's better now? Yeah. I'll, just, I'll just change Discord server just in case. Okay. We've, we've okay. had problems other days. Hello? Testing, uh, testing, oh. one, two, three. Okay. Yeah, so it reminded you of. Oh, yeah. Um, that boss intro dialogue reminded me more of uh, the reboot DMC, which was really snarky. And that remember that uh, pukey puke lady that wants to puke <laughs> I, on I, you I, and say I try fuck to you. forget, but yes. <laughs> you, That's you, what that reminded me of the you, most. You. <laughs> I'll chew on your arm and spit it out and then uh, eat it again. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and the and yeah. the and the voice actors who worked on that called the dialogue Shakespearean. What? <laughs> <Wow>. Yes. <laughs> That's, that's cute. That's I can I can remember the part of Hamlet where they just kept saying "fuck you" over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> it was my favorite yeah. part. Maybe I should read that again. <laughs> but um, yeah. I mean, that's that's not a bad thing to me anyway. Like, I just want to point out specifically that like any comparisons I make to the reboot and four both like neither of those are bad things to me. I think um, what I've experienced of people's opinions of the games, like a lot of people are. Uh, it's kind of like Resident Evil. <laughs> like people will really bash on one iteration of the series. Yeah, the, while, like I think I think I think I would kind of compare the reboot to to RE4 because that caused a gigantic split in the RE community. Like a lot of people like RE4, a lot of people hate RE4 because it, it was different. Yeah. I feel like DMC reboot it was the same thing. 
Except there's a lot more people who dislike the DMC reboot compared to people who liked RE4. Well, if you like go to forums, you would get the impression that everyone hated RE4. At least like Resident Evil forums. Like people, fans, like hardcore fans, they went mad. They went so mad with RE4. Hmm. Yeah. So despite that, like I, there's just there's really good things from both games that I enjoy, and it's when I point them out in this. For the most part, like it's it's really it's a positive thing for me to see those things, like being improved upon and brought back. So, did you say that the the camera worked the same way as in as in DMC four? The camera felt really similar to four. Like a lot of the controls and gameplay mechanics felt very similar to four. Like the sound design and the the um visual design, like that really reminds me a lot of the reboot. But the control, like that, this being the reboot, yeah. yeah. Which, come on. come on. I know I said it's just my opinion, but it's so much more attractive than Nero. Hello? I don't see it. <laughs> um, anyway. Hmm? I was going to ask you about, about the camera. Like, uh, how is it similar to 4? Like, is, is, like, like, is it part of the demo where you lose control of the camera, but it's full, fully automatic? Uh, a little bit. Like, it was real. Like, I was trying to run towards like a health item in one of the last phases or stages of the boss when like you change stages and like it. I had to continuously rotate the camera to s stay focused on the health item I was trying to run towards because it kept mm. trying to force me to look back at the boss instead. Mm. And I, don't, I just remember like a lot of the things that turned me off about 4 had to do with the camera because it drives me nuts when camera control is forced out of your hands. Yeah. When like in general gameplay, it tries to give you the freedom like to avoid that feeling. And oh, I, line. it's just really hard to adjust back and forth, and that that really is off-putting to me. Hmm. So I hope that's not as prevalent in five, but just in the demo alone with the boss fight, it felt kind of reminiscent of that. It's 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 hard to tell based on the footage we've seen so far if if there are many segments where where it's automatic. I can definitely remember with four, like it was it it varied a lot. Like some parts you had you had you had full freedom, other parts the camera was rather automatic, and you didn't have much much control over it. I definitely yeah. remember a lot of the like the platforming sections with Nero would lock the camera into a specific position. Yeah. To, to try and make it easier to see where you need to go, but it didn't always yeah. give you the best angle. And what that accomplished for me is that it just made it so inconsistent that you just didn't know when you'd have freedom to look where you wanted to look. So it's it's just it's jarring to me. And like it it felt like it it lets you look within a certain scope. But when you try to look beyond that, it suddenly slows down and tries to force you to look elsewhere. And that's... Mm. I like to avoid that kind of camera control, but I think... I don't know, I guess, has that always been a thing in DMC a little bit? I think you had less control in the earlier games. Like, I think one was, yeah. basically, R, was basically RA style. I don't think you had any control in that one. Yeah, I think that's right. And I, I think it was... Hmm. It might have been actually... DMC two because the environments were so big they did oh, give yeah. you more camera control. Yeah, yeah, maybe you had more you had more 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 control in that. And DMC three gave you a little bit of camera control with the right analog stick, but not much. The I mean, force camera control was kind of a the the lock on system really affected camera control also. Did mm. did you try the lock on system at all? Do you know if that was just the same as four? Um, I did try it. But I, I I've only played it once, and it was like a ten to fifteen minute demo at most. So I I'd, I'd have to play it again to really experience it. Okay. It yeah. the lock on the brief amount of time that I did use lock on, I, I used it with right bumper by the way. So it felt yeah. that part like I think it's the Devil Bringer or something in the reboot DMC, like that ability still exists like you could hold right bumper and hit x or b or something to either bring an enemy close to you or like take yourself closer to an enemy yeah i think i think, I think that that now depends on which arm you have equipped i think oh, yeah no no no, no. I, th I think the grapple ability you always have access to but like there are the other abilities which depends on which arm you have equip equipped at the time yeah so that that grapple ability felt really similar to to uh the reboot and i I loved that. Like I found myself using that a lot. So see, I'm happy to see that. So 
the way that worked in DMC4 with Nero's Devil Bringer is that whether or not you pulled the enemy towards you or pulled yourself towards the enemy, it depended on like the size and weight of the enemy. Like the enemy mm-hmm. was too heavy, you'd pull yourself towards them. Whereas in the reboot, uh, like I think I think you could control whether you pulled yourself towards the enemy or pulled the enemy towards you using like the different uh, like Devil and Angel forms. Yeah, like. I think that sounds familiar. I think I think that's true to an extent. I think there were some enemies that specifically only let you pull yourself towards them. Hmm. If I remember correctly, but yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. What were your, so we. what were your overall impressions of the demo? Did you enjoy? It? Did you hate it? Did you like it? Yeah, I I wasn't like uh, I wasn't frustrated. I was having a good time, so that's a good sign. Okay. Would you play it? And again? I, yeah, I will be definitely playing it a few more times at least, just to uh, try the different settings because I really want to play it again, especially without the automatic setting turned on. Were you convinced to buy the collector's edition of the game? I'm not convinced to buy the game at all yet. Wait, wait, but... let, let me change your opinion. <laughs> of not partial um... nudity. <laughs> um, first, first of all, did you know this lady in it? Uh, and secondly, uh, did you know <laughs> that live action cutscenes? Oh, come up, come back, come back. <laughs> live oh, action cutscenes and fork and Mega fork. Man Buster. Mm. I, I, um, are you not convinced? <laughs> I could use a fork to eat my chicken nuggets, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A fork? Yeah. I mean, I usually eat them with my hands, but if a fork comes with my hand, then that's fine. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, like, I wanna, I, I do want to get excited about it, and I want to be convinced to buy it, but I, I'm also just remembering I have failed several times to want to finish four mm. and i really really liked a lot of things about that game but i i don't i'm just it's going to take a little bit more convincing for me to feel like this is a game that i will actually play start to finish does this guy convince you at all he's not my type. smile <laughs> something about his eyes looks a bit off mm. Every look at his two eyes looks a bit off mm. I think you just a little bit, of a a little bit to the right. I don't know. I think might might be fine. I don't know. His eyes look fine there. Then again, we don't see the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think what you showed that he like summons different creatures or whatever to fight. Like, I think his fighting style looks unique enough to yeah. be interesting. We we haven't talked too much about it. like his fighting style is completely different. I I very much expected this to be yet another melee fighter, but this looks this looks even more different than like Lady in, in DMC four. He he relies very much on these uh, summoned creatures to do his bidding, like this super thing, and then he has a bird mm. and, and a cat. It's from the footage, the little footage we have we've seen. It's really hard to tell like what what button would do what. Compared to the other fighting styles of Nero and Dante, yeah. mm-hmm. like how would how the are, are pause combos even a thing with him? I'm gonna. Say I, was, hmm? I was gonna say I have a feeling. Probably the next demo, will be controlling him. Maybe. Hmm. I would I like, like to play. If as I had him. to guess. Okay, here we go. So, Shadow is the name of the panther-like creature. Yes. The callbacks. <laughs> uh, so Griffin is the name of the bird. Oh, really? I mean, that was the name of a boss in DMC One. He's a lot <laughs> smaller than he used to be, and less red, more blue. The um, the bird can uh, apparently carry V around. We did see that in one of the screenshots you were cycling through. Yep. Um. It says that the uh, shadow can change him, change his shape into sharp blades and needles. Yep. Into... Yeah. Yep. Um, the big thing you can summon is called Nightmare. Oh my God! He's 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 a DMC one reference. V is a DMC one reference. <laughs> That's also a DMC one boss. He was the blob boss of DMC one because you know every DMC game is a blob boss in it. He's like a oh. rock monster now. That looks like Goliath. The demo boss. It is. It's mm. a slightly different color. Um, and and v instead. 
And it says that um, the um, that the summoned creatures can't kill enemies. Like V always has to finish them off with a final attack to kill them. Oh, that's interesting. With a devastating can attack. <laughs> Was that kind of like the RE5? You gotta get the cane. Like the AI, the R5 AI? Yeah. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, I I wish I knew, like, are those summon creatures just fully automatic? Can you choose what they do? Yeah, that's... I have so many questions about how his fighting style works. I like the way they have made him unique. I just, I'm a little bit worried if he's just mostly an automatic character. We don't mm. do much manually. It's really hard to see. Wow! Oh my god, we have to focus on a very important bit here. Trish, that's what I was looking at. <laughs> this game is the next Dead or Alive. Wow. <laughs> look at that, look at that. <laughs> I mean, that outfit doesn't look like it would have like a lot of support. <laughs> Will this game be censored on PS4? <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> uh -huh. They are they are censoring the re-release of Dead or Alive Extreme 3. Don't get uh, me started for censorship. <laughs> reading through more of the press release stuff to see what they're mentioning. Oh, that? Wow. oh you saw the spiky things come out of the shadows back. Yep. Oh, Dante was holding Sparta in, in that clip. Wow, multiplayer, wow. I won multiplayer, that would convince me. Me too. I mean, we should talk about the multiplayer then. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Let, just a bit, let me read a little bit so I can actually reach the part about the multiplayer because yeah. that's mentioned here. Ah, tentacles. What if, while we wait, what if uh, one of the things that um, V could summon was the reboot Dante? <laughs> oh, did dear. you did you see the alternate costume for Dante in this? No, is it reboot Dante? It it is based on reboot Dante. Like it's it's only retexture, but like it's it's the colors of reboot Dante. Is his hair different? Yeah, the hair is black. Oh. That's neat. I would show it here, but I don't have it here. Oh. Oh well. But you can look at the previous podcast to look at <laughs> kind of reboot Dante DMC5. Oh boy. Okay, so I think I found all the information here about the multiplayer. Like, I'm I'm still uncertain how it actually works. It's a little bit ambiguous how they explain it. But they say okay. that in certain parts of the game, you might uh, have like cameos of other players and and you fight alongside them. And it sounds like like RE6. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, 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 I was it, talking it, about this with Icy earlier, and he said it reminded him of how the RE6 four-player co-op segments worked in the campaign. Yeah, it it, it says here that that these guys are either like AI-driven. They might even be. I think there was mentioned like ghost data somewhere here, or they could just yeah. Be, they, they could just be online, like you're actually playing online with another player at the time. So yeah, it it, it does sound like it is the RE6 system where at specific parts of the game, two or three characters will fight along. It's Alongside each other, and if another player is playing that part at the same time, then you get uh, then we get match made. That's pretty cool. Uh, I guess it's kind of neat, but the like the system in RE6 didn't really work all that well, and yeah, it was completely random. Like you couldn't play with, specifically with your friends. Yeah, I definitely I mean, like the idea of it, but I hope it is handled better if, than six. I feel like uh, like the system in R6, it was more cool on a technical level than it was to actually play. Because when yeah. I saw the system, it just made me think, why didn't you just enable 4-play co for the full campaign? Yeah. <sighs> and that makes me ponder, could people do that in 5 with modding? <laughs> Possibly. I wouldn't mind a mode where I just play through the entire campaign in 3-play co-op. I would be into that. I mean, it probably wouldn't be balanced at all, but it would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. But it, it doesn't it doesn't explain in detail. It does sound like it's an RS6 system, but it could be a little bit different. And it also says that after you've played this segment, you can rate, like you can rate the performance of the other players, giving them like a stylish wow. uh, rank. One big improvement to that system, if it's if it's kind of similar to six, would be to just pause. Like at that moment, and give you the option to directly invite a friend to join you. That'd be good. Not just have a sixty-second timer. 
that you have to sit for to see if someone randomly decides to join and hope that mm. it's your friend. I don't. Like that. I don't know. I don't. I don't even think it would be a huge improvement, even if you can match make against friends, because I don't know. It feels like sort of throwaway thing that okay, I'm not gonna play alone for a half hour until I get to this part. Okay, now Akimete, please join me so we can play together for five yeah. minutes. Okay, it's over. Now I'm gonna go back to playing single player. Just I, like yeah. I don't know. It I like think if they like made the like trouble. a menu thing for it, like join a partner, just like randomly in the story somewhere after you've finished it, that would be good. Hmm. Yeah, if you, if you could just like jump straight into that segment, maybe play those segments in a row, like then it might be worthwhile to to do all of that with a friend. Um, um. Well, uh, speaking of multiplayer, um, they've never done any multiplayer for Bloody Palace, have they? No, no. They, um, well, that um, would be neat if they did. I, I was reading through all the Bloody Palace stuff here, and they've mentioned very, very, very little about the game. I mean, about the mode. They say they say almost nothing. That it's just a Quick elimination mode that you where you fight against hordes of enemies and bosses until you reach the end. That's that all it says about the mode. Hmm. I'm, 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 I they must still be working on it. I mean, it is coming out a month after the launch of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're definitely still working on it, but uh, I think it surely must be close to finished. I don't uh, like it's only getting released one month after the game itself, so it must be very far along. Mm. But Wait, I is that hmm? sorry? Is that that enemy that you snatched their cloak? Little by little, and then kill them. Isn't that the bird? The beast bird? Oh, I guess it's the bird. <laughs> <laughs> that is Griffin. So, so this is uh, the Bloody Palace stage, one of the stages. Yep. I smell a fruit. I think that's one of the enemy types. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's a lot of like bug looking enemies in the game. They have these big bulb sacks. I do hope they tweak the mode a little bit from 4. I really like Bullet Palace in 4, but like almost two hours for one run, I think it's a yeah. little bit crazy. Like I would love to see it be segmented into like maybe four different missions. We, we go through like 25 uh, waves in each mission. I think that would be a huge improvement. And also, as Akhmeta said, I think this would like co-op. I think would be yeah. perfect here. Yeah. I really hope it has co-op support for Bloody Palace. That would be cool. Do we see this at any point at any point in the trailer? I don't think no, so. This is a completely separate screenshot. Because I, I, I mean, it, this just looks like the same to me. These two things, uh, this thorn thing is. Uh. We could confirm it. Uh, by the way, I mean, um, this one's too blurred. Not that it matters too much, but that. That multiplayer that we just talked about is not enough to convince me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 so let's say if it had like full, full co-op, would that convince you? Like full, full. Absolutely, co without a doubt, yes. See, Capcom, are your last leg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have more pictures. So, oh yeah, this is the bit where he's flying with the birdie. Yep. Uh, I mean. That bird with the funny voice is supposed to be Griffin. <laughs> Another picture of them uh, fighting together. So this would be one of the multiplayer parts of the game. Cameo mode. Fun. Yeah, I mean, all, I all three of them are there. Yeah. yeah. It's just, I don't know, it's... It just seems like such a way that they go through all the trouble to make, like, full co-op, but it's only playable for such a tiny part of the game it just i don't know it seems weird to me it's like this uh every once in a while like a developer looks at how the multiplayer and like journey works and is like oh that's really neat how, how can we do that in our game hmm. even though it might not be the best fit to do it that specific way that is a very detailed render of dante's face i thought yes. it was real life so we have okamete we need him to rate every single main character <laughs> so what do you give him, Akamete? Am I rating him like by comparison of his previous designs or just flat yeah. out rating him? Just just like based on this, just this. Just rate him based on this look. Uh seven. Okay, well it's not six. Seven's not that, that bad, right? Yeah, this is Dimsy Four <laughs> Lady. <laughs> I did have any good reason to include this, but I did include this, which is uh, on your render of lady. Nine. 
Good, good. I I approve. I approve. I would personally go with eleven myself, <laughs> <laughs> but I will accept nine. I like this one. I think I think she looks very pretty here. She does look good. Yeah. You can kind of see her old scar, kind of. Mm -hmm. Is that where Dante punched her in the nose? Mm -hmm. No, he, Dante was very. It's got uh, fancy. She eyes. had that scar before she met Dante. Hmm. Very good render. Yes, it is. Yes. It's very high res. Like the, the wonders of photogrammetry, I guess. She did not forget her lip gloss. Mm -hmm. Of course not. No, 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 no. It's popping. Yeah. Trish. Well, oh, she's got messy hair. <laughs> uh, she kind of mm. reminded me of a Silent Hill character. Of hers. Yeah. yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, there's maybe, maybe they were making like a Silent Hill 2 remake for a second. <laughs> It kind of scared me. Jump scare. So it gets a 10 out of 10 for jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, th I, th I think I think she looks fine, but I don't know. I feel like they could have done a better job with Trish in 5. I, like, jokes aside, I, I like her. Like, Trish Trish is probably my favorite part of um, 4, even though I only really saw her as a Lady Glow Glow. I think it's a, her hair. Like, maybe if they did her hair differently in, in this, she would look better. Yeah, it's pretty flat. It's like mm. Mia from Resident Evil 7. <laughs> Mia's hair was more, um, what's the word? Vol voluminous? Voluptuous? Voluptuous? <laughs> <laughs> it had more volume to it. I don't think I would say that about any character in RE7. <laughs> <laughs> just her hair. Her hair had more volume to it. This, this just looks very flat and dead. So yeah, I think that affects the way that she looks. Um, hmm. I don't like V. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like Kylo Ren either. I would have you rate Nero, but I, I don't think there's actually a render of him in this. What? Really? Yeah, I think they in they had a render in this style, in a, which they released way earlier, so I would have had that in yeah. a previous podcast, not here. Like with the E3 announcement, you definitely had those uh, the renders of Nero and Nico. But uh, you still need to rate him, so... Okay. Um... Right him now, come on, do it. Yes. <laughs> so demanding. Uh... Not the best picture of him, but <laughs> oh well. Six point seven five. A very specific number. <laughs> it's, it's less than Dante, but not horrible, I guess. Okay, am I am I wrong here, Archimede? Would, would like Nero and Dante look a lot better if they just had different hair? Uh I think the white hair for Dante, like, that doesn't bother me. Like, I think it's it's fine. Like, that's been a stylistic choice they've gone with forever. So that, that's not something I really consider. But Nero... I, mm. To be fair, his hair looks better normally than this, but yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm not a huge fan of his hairstyle. In terms of I think, like, what I said earlier, as silly as it sounded, like, he just looks like a much less attractive version of this to me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, I I am very good at timing. <laughs> good job. <laughs> um, I think I have some more pictures. Oh, another render of uh, V. Also, by the way, I I don't like his model design. Like, I don't like the way he looks. But the way we've seen him, like acting, his combat and all that stuff, like that looks really neat to me. So yeah, the the fact that his uh his uh like uh, kit for lack of a better word, is like uh, full of DMC1 references. <laughs> it has me really curious about his backstory. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to go too deep into story stuff, but I there has to be Virgil stuff going on, I imagine. Maybe he played yeah. DMC1. <laughs> <laughs> That's his backstory. It's just a huge part of the, part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think this is actually Virgil, do you? I think I think it could be like another son of Virgil. I think it could be connected somehow. <laughs> we still don't know how the first son was made. <laughs> you kind of know with special edition. It was that one woman in that one cutscene. Oh, that is such a <laughs> lame explanation. It I was, refuse to believe that. It, it has been officially confirmed at least that Nero is, son, is Virgil's son, right? I'm pretty sure that was officially um... confirmed somewhere. If it was officially confirmed, I never saw this official confirmation with my own eyes. Well, I I was gonna make a, a big dick joke because of the reboot line, but I'll 
I won't make it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no jokes about big dicks here. <laughs> and that's the final picture. Okay. I am, yeah, I am. I have to say that I was worried about seeing his comet reveal because I mean, I don't like his his design, and I'm not sure what they would do with another melee character. But I, I think it's cool that they're they're making him a summon character. Like that is that is one thing I liked about Lady in Demon's Four Special Edition is that she just played entirely different from anyone else. Mm, guns, she had and, guns, and and I think it's neat to introduce like very different uh, gameplay styles with different different characters in DMC. I think that's, that's cool. how I feel in general about every game. Like that's 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 one of the biggest reasons that I've stayed with Black Desert. I think is just because the combat classes feel so different. So just by comparison, like I like playing. If you have the option to play different characters, it's nice when they actually play differently. Indeed. Yes. They still need to add more lady, though. I just am baffled <laughs> they haven't announced playable lady, and I think it's very rude that Dante has stolen lady's weapon. I find that very rude. Very rude. I like her hair. Yeah, he's got fancy hair. I think your hair in this looks fine, too. Mm -hmm. I... She looks like someone. I don't know who, though. Mm. <laughs> you should find them and introduce Cortana. them to me. Oh. <laughs> Um, I will say that uh, her outfit, I don't like her outfit. I already talked about this in previous podca podcasts. Hmm. It's a silly outfit. Do you have, oh, do you have a render that shows it? Uh, I don't have a render. It, it is visible in the uh, in the trailer. Oh, right. I'm not sure if I remember when. I think it was near the star, wasn't it? Wasn't it when, uh, well, I mean, we have this, but this doesn't really show it well. Oh, no. Hmm. Yeah, this, this, isn't there a bit where we see her when she, um, when um, Dante steals the weapon? Mm -hmm. Wait, oh, oh, here yeah, we go. Yeah. Made it for lady! Hmm. <laughs> so you don't like that? Look at no, I, I think... Oh, it's so... <gasps> yeah. I like the bouncy hair, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I just think this is over-designed and messy. Do you think it's because she's wearing shoulder pads? Maybe? <laughs> Well, it doesn't help, it just, I don't know. I, I feel like the jacket and the shirt, they kind of clash together. I don't like like what she's done with the pants here. Like, I don't know, it just looks weird. I don't like it. You raise some very valid points, but at least it's better than the please look at my boobs outfit from DMC4. That outfit is perfection, driver. <laughs> <laughs> no, she looked better in 3. I find it weird that uh, Trish more or less just has her DMC4 outfit just with more cleavage. Yeah. <laughs> but I, they went they went too far with ladies. I, at the least, I think she looks better with her secondary colors because that makes her jacket black. I think that's a, that was a that was an improvement. Mm -hmm. I think that would look nice, a little more contrast in her upper body. But can you go back and I want to see each one of their hair bounce, like every single. Wow, look at this. <laughs> so Dante's bounces also. But not as much. Yeah, but it does bounce. But it does. Mm, good. Lady here bounce a lot. I like it. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Wow. This should be a feat in every game. I just love bounce hair. It's amazing. I love bouncy hair too. I was about to say that. I was going to say, it might be really weird, but I love when hair like is dynamic. Like, it yeah, moves I, also, around and stuff. I also like the same thing with clothing, when, when clothing elements also like bounce around and stuff. I just always mm -hmm. like that in games. I like when things bounce also. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, damn. But yes, that, that is a bunch of stuff. Yes, it is very good. Yeah. Do, have they said anything about like when this is supposed to take place compared to 4? Okay, okay, Akamati. Okay, Akamati. Let's, uh -oh. uh, let's have a talk. Let's okay. have a talk. Let's, let's see if I get this right. Mm -hmm. DMC3, DMC1, mm -hmm. DMC4, DMC2, mm -hmm. DMC5. Mm -hmm. That is the chrono, like that. That is the order of events of the DMC franchise. Three, well, one, four, I think, two, five. I think we're still a little bit iffy about two, but five is definitely after four, at least. It's and the rest so is confusing. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, yeah. I, I think they officially said that this takes place a couple of years after 4, right? I remember seeing that somewhere. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Also, before we move past this boob scene, can you zoom in? And before we talk more, zoom on his boobs. (laughs) Does he have chest hair? Yeah, he does have chest hair. (gasps) Good job. Finally, a game that has chest hair. Is it balanced with chest hair? Thank you. (laughs) He's like Zangief. (laughs) <laughs> um, maybe not quite. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Like the, so this is definitely after four. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Looks like they've redesigned her uh, her bazooka a little bit. Oh, I mean, pattern. in that in that scene, Nico said she made it for a lady. Yeah. So she she just recently built that <laughs> in this uh, context. Did the. Uh... Uh, um, did the version in three when you played it on to have a, have a grappling hook thing? Yep. Okay. They both have painted black nails. You mean uh, Dante yeah. and Trish? <laughs> 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 a lady. You can't see her nails. Those look red on the left hand. How can you see that? I can't see her nails at all. I guess I guess we might have a little bit of sad news. I feel like we should all weep here right now. <laughs> because I feel like there's no chance Lady will be playable at all if they're giving him her weapon. So rude. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, sh- he will then have part of her moveset with, with a weapon. Not even in Bloody Palace? I guess maybe if they made like a DMC5 special edition, maybe then there's a tiny, tiny, tiny chance, but uh, otherwise, nah, probably not. What are the chances you think they'd bring back like the Gloria skin for Trish and let her be playable? Well, she has an alternate costume, well, well alternate colors, which is based on Gloria. I, I also think that like, like play-wise, I think there's no chance she, she, she's playable or, well, very, 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 very low chance. Mm-hmm. Um, so I got some notes from Icewave. He couldn't be here for this podcast, but he still had some stuff he wanted to say. Mm. He, uh, oh, he says there's, that there's Cerberus from DMC3. That's uh, Dante stealing. They did <laughs> <laughs> uh, Icewave said that he's super happy that they finally showed off the corp. He thinks it's neat that it seems to be handled the same way as R6. He yeah, hopes it's more reliable than R6 because R6 would often lead to disconnections. Mm. Yeah. He uh, thought it was very rude how Lady is punched. <laughs> uh, mm. He says V looks interesting, a little more reserved than he thought, yet also more crazy with the whole summoning monsters thing. Also, um, white hair what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, actually, oh, I think we get a better look at those enemies later. Uh, any specific part I should jump to? Uh, I'll know it when I see it. But yeah, there was a there was a shield design on one of the enemies with shields that reminded me of something from Dragon's Dogma, actually. Uh, come on, where is it? That's like uh, Ryu's Hadoken. Hmm. Yeah, a little from bit. What we from... see of V, he literally just stands around on the battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> was... I was yeah. considering to mention that. It seems kind of lazy. <laughs> there was also a part where Dante is transforming into his Devil Trigger form. It reminded me a lot of the Devil Trigger explosion effect from DMC3. Mm. So maybe he has that back? Mm. But, well, anyway, at one point in that trailer, there's these enemies with shields, and it reminds me of uh, the shield that uh, that guy, uh, you know, who's buried with two Mercedes. Mercedes. What's that guy's name in Dragon's Dogma? Julius? Yeah, him. His shield. It reminded me of his shield design. Hmm. Hmm. Is this Devil Trick? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bang, so bang, bang, bang. He's bloody. All my Devil Trick. Time to go to the palace then. Now, okay. <laughs> do you think. Hula Girl, do you think <laughs> that. Two six five one is gonna mean anything at all? Do you think they're no. trying to tell? No. Okay. No. <laughs> Just turn it. Oh, I know what theory. it means. I know what it means. What? what? DMC one takes place after five, and six <laughs> will take place oh. after two. And there's a cat <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most important bit. 
<laughs> okay, uh, do, you have, do we have anything more to say about DMC5 stuffs? Uh, I mean, the, the fact that V is just a pile of DMC1 references has me way more excited to play as him. Uh, I'm still curious how they'll handle like the the non combat stuff that breaks up the action because that's always been Devil May Cry's weakest points. Um, didn't they say somewhere that they were drastically toning down the the uh, the amount of platforming in this and puzzle stuff? I'm not sure they ever said anything to that effect. I, I want to say that was said maybe during some kind of presentation at Comic Con or whatever. I'm gonna have thing, thing, I don't know. I wish I had written that stuff down. But yeah, uh, I am looking, really, still looking forward to the game. I'm curious how V actually plays, how how automatic it is, how much stuff you do do yourself. I am uh, very jealous of this person right <laughs> here because he can play it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you send one of us your Xbox? I wish I could throw that <laughs> garbage dumpster fire to you. <laughs> but... oh. No. <laughs> Okay, shall we change topic? Sure. Okay. Oh, sure. Yeah. See, Dante wants you to change the topic. <gasps> we can talk Resident a little Evil? bit about the uh, Resident Evil 2 remake thing. Sherry? Ah, six! More... Just like in DMC5! Oh. Oh. And the three. And we oh, the cat! That's right, the six and the. Yeah. Where's the two? Wait a minute. Six minus three is three. Are you three really confirmed? Nice. Map. Uh, there That's was true. A, there was actually a guy who claims he has inside sources who's told him that our uh, three remake is already in in development. That would be kind of crazy. <laughs> what are you doing, Akamita? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah, this is uh, Sherry. This is one of Sherry's drawings, question mark. Enjoy! Doggy. Oh. He likes doggies. Okay. I'm mean, sure we can enjoy. Happy. Happy. Is that Doggy. supposed to be Kirby? Kirby? <laughs> <laughs> is this V's birdie? Does he have two those birdies? Look like, those look like chickens to me. Green chickens. Look it's at like... all those chickens. Oh. The Patriot. I don't know what that one says. Is that Sonic? He can relay it's, move. Could be a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Wow. What? 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 Where? Where is that? Where is Sherry's room supposed to be? It is in the foyer. Is in it a just a new place for the remake? Except, I mean, Blood. yeah, the the remake took place in the police station. Made in heaven. Made in heaven. References. I'm is actually it? really excited to play this. Dog. Doggy. Oh, it's Phoebe. It is Phoebe! <laughs> it's a keyboard! It's a very flat looking keyboard. Yes. Yeah. Mm. They were definitely much thicker than that in the 90s. Thick. They better have a picture of uh, Rebecca somewhere in this uh, office. I mean, they have to. It was in the original. Flashbang? Was this the game where if you examined the. It, was it like Wesker's computer or something several times you saw a picture? Yeah, if you if yeah. you if you examine Wesker's desk like twenty times in a row, then you get a picture of uh, Rebecca in like uh, in in a bikini or something. Ah, oh, no, they're, like, it was like sportswear. Sports yeah, hmm. Hmm. but like basically a bikini. I think I think she gets that outfit in RE Zero uh, Remaster, right? Yeah. Hmm. Fire, much fire. I oh, hear yeah. we're weak to it. This is a hmm. part I I remember this from R2, like the the hallway yeah. with helicopter and fire. R two hundred. Oh, and there's Mister X. Well, see, <laughs> so with good. the hat. Why does he have hmm. the hat? Mister X wasn't uh, appearing in every playthrough of R2, right? Uh, he appeared at specific points in like a couple of playthroughs. Seriously though, can we talk about the hat? Creepy Look at his face. Why does yeah. he have a hat now? He Fashion. didn't have a hat before. He just he, had the trench coat. He just likes hats? Are you against hats? Creepier. It, it just looks so silly on him. Well, he oh, lost he... his hat. Are you happy now, Ryan? Yes. Actually. He looks sad, though. 
He just looks sad. I lost he... my hat. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I like that hat. What's that on his head? That? Mm -hmm. A USB stick. stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just lodged into his skull. Liquor. Maxi doesn't keep his oh, hat. That's probably the clearest look we've got of the liquor yet in <laughs> the remake. Does Claire shoot that off? Maybe. There's a big plot point. <laughs> Oh dear. I can't wait to play this. It looks really good. Is this a green herb? <laughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> sort of, that's like a that's like a green herb that's been combined six times. <laughs> Just start chewing on a herb. Oh, it's Ada. Ada. Look how shiny her heels Ada. are. Ada. Ada. Ada Wong. Did we did we talk about this this time in one of the other podcasts? I think so. Like her face or what? This uh, the um um and this outfit, her coat. Yeah, we talked about the trench coat, I think. Okay, because I still find it like they actually officially said that they wanted to make her look more spy-like with this outfit. That they mm, they went happen. all the way, <laughs> <laughs> like big trench coat, huge scarf, big glasses. Like she uh, is, she's not being subtle. <laughs> she actually looks like the spy emoji in Discord. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pew pew. Leon. Got the target. Yeah. Are hmm. you playing as Ada or Leon here? Uh, I am That's actually going to play as Leon. Mm, but the, this camera angle, though. I mean, I uh, guess Leon? this is a developer screenshot that they could put the camera yeah. there. They want. It could be a cutscene. I don't. Maybe. I don't think he would have this pose in a cutscene. This looks like his generic uh, idle pose. I'm ready. Is this, uh, I forget his Barry. name. <laughs> this, is, this is a gun shop on a kendo? Sorry about that, babe. <laughs> <laughs> they have DLC which adds the original music. They should have DLC for the voices too. <laughs> and every time Leon talks to Ada, just, what? <laughs> <laughs> Nani? Ada, wait! Why does no one ever listen to me? Whoa, he's sweaty. He bit his lip. Mm. His you know, I don't think I have anything though. negative to say about what I've seen of this so far. His teeth? <laughs> Nothing negative no, about, about, teeth. <laughs> about this entire remake. It I looks it looks graphically very impressive. They they did say that um I wish I remember the exact numbers. I think they said that there were four hundred people who worked on R6. And this had, has a development team of 600 people in total. Wow. Oof. It's it's crazy. And uh, so Ada does take over code at one point. Has her classic outfit. Who's this? Uh, Annette, I think her name. Annette yeah. working. Oh! Ada does meet Annette. Mother of Sherry, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. I really like how Ada looks. She looks good. Her. I kind of wish they made her look slightly older. But she looks good. How old is she supposed to be in this game? I think like mid to late 20s. I'm not sure if they ever mm. say her her age, but considering she's working at a, as a spy, she's definitely older than a teenager, and I kind of think she looks like a teenager here. Well, didn't they say her age in RE6? Like, in... Maybe? I can't remember. Mm. Maybe I'm thinking of 5, where they show the ages. Never mind. Trade secret. Yeah. <laughs> she fights zombies. Is really? she sweating or did she get bit? It looks like blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she probably got bit. I think I heard somewhere that her part of the game is supposed to be more like slow paced horror stuff. Then again, isn't that the focus of the entire game? I'm just confused. Do they have the same voice actress they used for six? I don't, I don't think there's think any so. returning voice actors for this. Oh wow, okay. So she's using a weird thing, it's, it's causing lines everywhere. This is, this is weird. Wait. On a scanning device? She stole detective vision from Batman! <laughs> <laughs> and she stole it from Revelations 1, maybe? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> hmm. What's her pistol? What is her pistol? It's that it's one. Pistol. Very small. Yeah. I think Claire's one is really small as well. 
Leon. He's dead. Isn't it crazy that I can see this and not puke? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a big improvement. Good wow. job. I forgot you were always the captain of the anti Leon club. <laughs> yeah, but I think this might change. Like, I actually don't what? dislike him so far. Um, mm. um, How do you think he looks better than like uh, 4 and 6? Is it the hair? Between 4 and 6, do I like him? I mean, I mean, like, yeah, like, 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 why do you make, like, why do you, like, like this look more than this look in 4 and 6? I think he's just different. Like, it's not this... I think I've I've grown to associate the look of Leon with being a douchebag. So this <laughs> is separated from that. I actually mean that. Like I things that he says, like all his voice lines and everything, I just associate with the way that he's looked always. Uh, but I, like I, his I found his voice lines in four to be hilarious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this might be my chance to have a clean slate with Leon and especially if they have a new well, I don't I don't dislike Matt Mercer. I like I, he does a good. He did Leon and Six, right? No, that's. <laughs> oh yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I think you're right. It's, it's, it's another Mercer for uh, for four. Paul Mercier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paul yeah. Mercier. I think that's right. Yeah. Yeah. What's this on his spot? Uh, I don't recognize this. Sewage. <laughs> hmm? Sewage. <laughs> is, is this sewage? <laughs> oh. <okay. laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A remote control. Get shotgun thing, a pistol. Pew 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 pew. Look at its face. Looks like uh, one <laughs> of the uh, uh, alien thingies in Halo. Play. Looks like it's made of clay. <laughs> Was this monster in two? I don't uh, recognize it. It reminds me of the ooze from Revelations. Yeah. Monster again. And wow. being hugged. This has weird lighting. What do you think the melee system will be like, if any, in two? I was about to ask, will there be any? Uh, knife? They they uh, they did add some kind of melee system in the DLC for seven, right? Yeah. I haven't mm -hmm. looked too closely at and much of footage of RE2 remake. Has there been any melee shown ever? Just a knife. Hmm. <laughs> Spy Ada. <laughs> Spy sap my sentry. This is the one area which is both in RE2 and RE0, right? Right. right. Wait, what? I don't know right. this area. <laughs> it might be. There's like, I think like, there's a, like a tiny bit of overlap between RE0 and, and RE2. I kind of want to say this is one of them. Oh, but I'm not certain. I actually didn't know that. <laughs> This reminds yeah. me of the laboratory entrance in remake. I can I can remember back in the day people saw that as like, hey, that this was a hint what RE2 could look at as 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 a remake back in two thousand and three mm -hmm. when RE Zero got released. It's been so long. I have a few more pictures of RE2 stuffs. Oh yeah, these are the super super duper ultra high res pictures. Oh wow. Seriously, so, so many pretty. pixels. She's very pretty. It's a weird uh, scanning device thing. It's her detective gun. <laughs> this is the one that mode. I was thinking like had no chromatic aberration on them because they're rendered. But then we saw Sherry, didn't we? Sherry? I think, uh, I think there's still there's still chromatic aberration here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think mm. the implementation they're using means that it's more visible, like the more wide the picture is. Hmm. Mm. She has a shiny boob. <laughs> shiny <laughs> boobs. <sighs> and Claire. Wow, so much difference. Wish her hair was mm. more red. Did Chris. Grenade launcher? Was Chris uh, in two at all? Which no. Is mentioned. Claire was just looking for him. Yeah, that's, okay. that, that is Claire's backstory for her, too. She was looking for Chris. I, I it must be thinking of Code Veronica, where he plays yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. I think you can tell, yeah. like, the way they made the outfits is that they made the outfits in real life and then, like, scanned them in. Does she look pretty looks, realistic. like, more foggy than Ada. More foggy? 
like color like um, a, lot, a lot of it colors are just not correct i feel They're just toned down it looks like mm -hmm. yeah well that's horror you have to tone down their colors <laughs> leon got it isn't he, isn't he supposed to be like 18 in this also i don't know if he's supposed to be that young i think he's 19, still very maybe. young um, uh, More importantly, this... he doesn't have orange hair anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's sad. Is this the first time since the RF4 prototype where he's using flashlight and gun at the same time? Yes. Hmm. Unless Maybe? we like count RE6. Did it do the RE6? Like, body lights. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That like lights on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's an officer. Raccoon police. Yes. Nineteen sixty-nine. First day in the job. Oh, I hope you get you handcuffs. get to handcuff zombies. Uh, uh, that would be cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Extra game mode: handcuff all the zombies <laughs> and put them in jail. Red the zombie. <laughs> it's also. Oh, he's lieutenant. a lieutenant, not lieutenant. officer, lieutenant. Wow. Oh, that does not mean he outranks Leon. Leon so. has to do what he says. That's true. <laughs> Wait, it says officer there. Oh, oh yeah. I guess. Officer, mm -hmm. lieutenant. But wasn't the other one on Leon's other arm? I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you saw all of the emblems on him. This also says lieutenant. <laughs> 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 Look at her granny face. <laughs> Shelly's so old. Like, look at those smile lines. <gasps> what? Such an old granny. What? You're crazy. I I should have written down notes for R2 stuff. I I, I basically only have these pictures. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm I'm I did read some stuff. I I did read that. Um, was an interview in I think it was for Mitsu where they uh, said that uh, like in the uh, like Capcom Division One, which is like the main development studio at Capcom, they they were they have teams. I, was, I think they said they had four teams, no three teams. Yeah, yeah, they had three teams. Like one team R7, one team R R2 remake, and one team DMC5. So that means R7 team. They must have been working on something else now for two years. Interesting. Hmm. They also said that, that they. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and they also said that they're working on a game which will surprise a lot of people when it is revealed. Hmm. Hmm. And get speculating. Right too. I really hope they do Oh, this don't, don't get my hopes up. <laughs> um, is this something you unlock or is this a DLC thing? The outfit? Yeah. Uh, you unlock that. Okay, okay. So this is an, an outfit you unlock which is based on her original R2 outfit. Also, I guess uh, go zoom back out. I guess they got a sponsorship with uh, Harley Davidson. <laughs> yeah, that's very because that is a real motorcycle. Wasn't uh, that one brand. of the first things they ever showed of R2 remake, yeah. like a bike or something? The on a <laughs> bike. Yeah, I um a lot of fans have um a lot of fans have complained about this, and I think it would be good to have like uh, like the. Uh, like the bottom part of her, like the the underneath, like cover her sleeves and everything, like the black part. Yeah, I don't mind the cleavage. The cleavage can stay, but the sleeves need to be there. Yeah. Hmm. But like, uh, like besides that, like this is pretty much identical to that outfit. But they, I guess, they really wanted to add cleavage. I think. I think it just. I think they might as well just make it look the same. This is, by the way, her original outfit. Uh -huh. Made in heaven. Hmm. You know, I, I'm definitely finding myself a lot, like, way more excited about seeing a Resident Evil game made in this style, rather than waiting seven. for them to announce like a yeah eight for eight to be like in a similar style of seven. Like that would be neat. They did a good job with seven, and I liked it. But this, this style, like. This is what I'm really excited about. This is what I look for in a Resident Evil game. Do you guys think that R8 will be first person again? I hope not. I think so. I wonder if they have less of a reason 
to make it first person considering VR is not really that like it is it didn't really like blow up as much people people thought it would. I feel like we've been saying that for ten years now. <laughs> Yeah, it actually makes me curious because there's a lot of rumors going around that, uh, like that Sony's working on the PS5 to launch in 2020. It makes me wonder if they'll like push out a new version of the VR heads uh, alongside the PS5 or not. Kind of like the Connect bundles with 360 or mm. one or whatever. Well, I think we can safely say Connect is finally dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it actually raises a good point because neither Nintendo nor Microsoft seem to be bothered with VR at all. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I think Microsoft uh, t- tried to push AR for a short while, but I haven't heard anything about that in ages now. Uh, Valve is working on a new headset, though. Hmm. So who knows what will come out with that? Sorry, Starbreeze. I have a complaint uh, about Leon's outfit. It should not be like broken writing because it's new. That, that, that's actually a very good point. Like, this is his first day on the job. <laughs> Maybe that's just a style of font that they use at Raccoon Police Department. Or maybe it's actually dirty because there's like a bit of. Yeah. I don't so, know. this is his classic outfit, right? The one uh, you can unlock? Yeah. And, yeah. It's just and missing the orange here. This is his. It's original. perfectly clean here. No excuse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, this. This just looks identical, more or less. Like they added some yeah, mind yeah. elements, like uh, like a radio thing over there. He's unzipped. It's so it? weird. Like in that old PS One CG render, like his hair doesn't look orange, but when you actually get it in game, it looks so orange. Yeah. Maybe it was a mistake with the shading. Well, it was, it was super <laughs> orange in the intro, right? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, just just Okamete uh, being uh, feisty, I guess. <laughs> feisty with a shotgun concerns. <laughs> this... You really included this. I was I was going to include this instead of the RA2 stuff, because I thought these were identical to the RA2 outfits, but, but they aren't identical. Is this Dark Side Chronicles? Yeah, this is what they looked like in Dark Side Chronicles. Mm. Mm. Claire lost gloves. And also red shots. I think Leon's pretty identical though. Yeah, they added the knife, otherwise he looks super similar. Yeah. Hmm. Well, there are changes. Hmm. The new Leon has a less severe facial structure, I think. Like, he doesn't look so... Not this one, but the... Oh. He looks like... Warmer, I guess. Looks like a human. I was going yeah. to say the same. He looks, he looks more human. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what we put oh, it to. Yeah. Like this has some minor anime, uh, like like influences. I feel it's very mm-hmm. very minor. Okay. I think I think her looking like her all new outfit in Dark Side Chronicles looks better there than her. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and they announced huh. other DLC outfits for the characters. I think this, I'm pretty Eliza sure this is, this is DLC. Yeah, this is based on Elsa Walker from uh, the f- infamous RE 1.5. <laughs> it was only one and a half. A it Resident did. Game. It did actually eventually leak. Like if you look for it online, you will actually find it. Find a playable version of it. It's yes, yeah, mental. And she gets this as well. <laughs> I don't think this is based on anything. No. Just hair in the army. Maybe, maybe it's based on the fact that Jill got uh, an army outfit as, as a bonus outfit in Remake. Army 1 Remake. He's American. Hmm. Yep. Wow. She gets this. That's cute. I like this I one. like that one. <laughs> this is her best outfit. Very PUBG. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably ready for Battle Royale. Wait, can you go back to the pure? Uh, not quite. She's wearing pants. That is a good. Hey, point. she doesn't have heels, and then go forward. <gasps> she she does. does have heels. It's amazing. She wow. doesn't really get taller though. No. <laughs> hmm. Maybe she's like really high up in the hat, and the hat's like really thin. This might have been. 
they, they might have done this to make the rigging easier. Mm -hmm. So 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 that means technically she has shorter legs with this model. That's okay though. Yeah. I'd give her heels anyway. Oh, maybe she's just standing on her tiptoes. <laughs> well, she she would be tall in general if that's the case, and she, but she doesn't look taller. But so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Ryman has a very good point. Like, why the hell is she wearing pants? Like, what the hell? <laughs> uh, Sheriff Leon? That. Oh. Hmm. I like it. <laughs> it kind of looks like Walking Dad. Hmm. Probably intentional. Also, no. I like this too. This this has to be a nod to Evil Within. He looks so similar to that guy yeah. from Evil Within. Oh. Wait, why would it be a nod to that? Wasn't that Bethesda? Oh, yeah, it... but Shinji Mikami directed the Evil Yeah. Oh, Another right. Two. Yeah. And that was involved. Looks super, super, super. I want to say the hair is the same, too. Yeah. Oh, and that He's is more the attractive fun than picture. Sebastian. And that's that on that. Okay. So I am not. I'm still not super interested in the game, but if I somehow get my hands on the Japanese version, I will play that because that is apparently super censored. <laughs> okay. I'll play it for you twice. <laughs> uh, I really I'm, am excited about this. I'm trying to think were there any specific news things they mentioned about R2 remake recently which is worthwhile to mention? I can't think of anything. Oh, oh yes, there's one. Covered. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is one. There's a crossover event. Uh, to remake crossover <laughs> event with PUBG Mobile happening. <laughs> yeah, PUBG Mobile, not the main version of PUBG. Oh, it's so the funny. mobile version. But how? All right, how did PUBG Core nab that? How did they get Capcom to agree to that? I want to know. Well, it wouldn't be PUBG Core, I think. It would be Tencent, wouldn't it? Oh, right. Them. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know. I feel like Capcom is very much okay with saying yes to stuff like that because they do a lot of like license and crossover stuff. They've done a ton of that over the years. They probably just look at it as like free marketing, and they're probably just okay mm. with it. Marketing, yay! So it's going to be an interesting like beginning of 2019 for Capcom. At the end of January, we'll have RE2 remake, and then in March, we'll have the MC5. Mm. What's the re release date for RE2 Remake? Uh, January 25th. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. So, like a month after Christmas? Pretty much. Capcom seems to be doing really well again. Like, uh, Monster Hunter mm -hmm. World was a gigantic success. And, like, RE7 did really well. And people are super hyped about RE2 Remake and DMC5. And I think Mega Man 11 got reviewed super well as well. It did. So it's like doing it. really well these days. Yay. Oh, also, um, we should mention something about Monster Hunter that was uh, teased at the Game Awards. Oh, yeah. So, um, uh, Monster Hunter World won Best Role-Playing Game at the Game Awards. And the producer... Uh, is it Ryuji Hashimoto? Is that his name? Anyway, the producer on Monster Hunter World. He accepted the award. And he said that in a few days they would have an, a Monster Hunter announcement that would please everyone. Even like lady? Mario Mates? Lady? They, did, they didn't specify past that. Just a, a, a Monster Hunter announcement that would please everyone in a few days. And it just said Monster Hunter, not Monster Hunter World, right? So it technically uh, could technically be something that's not that game. I'm the not Sims entirely Monster. sure. If he specified world or not. Hmm. But the thing with the previous Monster Hunter games is that uh, they often... Uh, what would happen in the past is that Monster Hunter games, they would launch in Japan, then they would get like an expanded version, and then the expanded version would be localized and released over here. But, of course, with world, they released the base version at the same time everywhere. So this could be like the expanded version of world. Perhaps with uh, more stuff. Hmm. Uh, should we briefly talk about the Game Awards thingy, which happened yesterday? Uh, it happened. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think that covers it. <laughs> yeah, some... Dragon Age yeah. Four teased and stuff. Yeah, I'm really excited yeah, about that. Too. True. 
Uh, I'm not sure if I can remember any announcement, which I um, have a lot of interest in from Game Awards. They announced a lot of stuff, but I think most of us don't care too much about the stuff that was announced. Mm-hmm. A lot of Red Dead. Oh, oh uh, Psychonauts oh, really? 2. That... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. They showed a trailer for Psychonauts 2. I thought that looked really good. Yeah. I've been wondering what the state of that project is. It looks like it's supposed to come out uh, next year at some point. Um... It's actually, it, it looks very impressive for a game that was partially crowdfunded. I forgot that. Yeah, uh, like it was crowdfunded partially on Fig, but uh, it is being published by Starbreeze. It was a live performance of Bang Bang Bang, Pull My Devil Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, uh, so uh, the Stanley Parable. There is a, they're porting the Stanley Parable to PS4 and Xbox One, and they're adding new uh, endings to it, and that content will also be available on PC. And that's really good, because I thought the Stanley Parable is a really, really funny thing. It might be a little generous to call it a game, but it was a, it was a funny thing. They um, showed for a- at least four adverts for PUBG. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also adverts for Smash Bros. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they had the misleading adverts for Smash Brothers. There was one Ugh. video starting with like a close up of uh, uh, what's, Is it what's that thing called? A rod? A Nintendo thing. Was it they like called? to do that. Animal Crossing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Animal Crossing, but then it was Smash Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they like to fool people. Mm. It's really rude, and I hope they stop it. <laughs> <laughs> there was no Rocksteady announcement. There was no uh, Metro Prime for both those things were, no. were rumored to be there. That's unfortunate. One rumor which did end up being true was a big leak related to Mortal Kombat that was there. Oh, I actually I watched the announcement because uh, Maximilian reacted to it. Uh, it was actually kind of funny because like Ed Boon from NetherRealm, he came out to present the award for like best sports slash racing game, and then yeah. instead of showing the video of the nominees, they started showing the Mortal Kombat yeah. trailer, and then he was like, "Huh, that's weird." They showed the wrong video afterwards. Uh, those those crazy people. So actually, yeah, something about that. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 is coming to everything, including the Switch, which is a, a first. Huh. Uh, oh, uh, Supergiant Games, the people behind Bastion and Transistor and Pyre, they they have released a new game in early access exclusively on the Epic Games Store called Hades. Mm-hmm. Uh, it seems to be it seems to be a, some kind of uh, isometric roguelike game because there seems to be a concept of like mm. dying over and over again, trying to escape from, well, Hades' realm. <laughs> like it's playing a lot into like the whole Greek mythology thing. Like I saw Zeus, and, well, Hades, of course. I like, love you Greek play as Hades' mythology. son, and he's trying to get out of uh, Hades' domain. Hmm. But uh, yeah, it's it's exclusive on the Epic Games Store right now. So I, I think that's all I have to say about the Game Award announcement. Announcement, really. It was. I also announced hmm? the, the Crash thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, a remake of Crash, Crash Team Racing. Racing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Team yeah. They uh, it was a, that a special moment where they show where they had uh, like uh, like some of the leads of Nintendo. Microsoft and Sony on stage at the same time. I can't remember what they said, but they had them at, on, on stage at the same time, at least. They were like, oh, we're so proud to have all of our players playing together. And that was about it. I guess it's a, it's, it's a reference to the whole thing that uh, Fortnite is cross-play on everything now. In, mm. I mean, including PS4. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, that happened like a month ago. Yeah, Sony mm. finally caved. But so far, just for Fortnite. <laughs> mm. like, like, in a way, showing them together felt a little bit like meaningless in a way because the show had a lot of exclusive stuff announced for various things. <laughs> yeah. A lot of Switch only, a lot of Xbox only. Like the demo for this game. Uh. <laughs> okay, do we have any final words we wanna say about Thingies? I wanna play the I'm really five. glad that Sherry and Ada are gonna be playable. That is all. I mean, they were playable in the original game. It would be weird if they weren't. 
I know, right? It's... I hope Sherry still has a 10 second animation for climbing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one oh. thing I want from the game. Well, you know how modern AAA developers love their realistic, drawn out animations. Do you guys think there's any chance there will be a Merchant's Mode in R2 Remake? I no. wish. I don't oh, think there will be, God. but I wish there would be. Uh... Not happening. Also, co op, hello? When? <laughs> they, they, have, they have fully confirmed it's single player, right? I'm, I'm pretty happen. sure. Pretty sure they have. Mm. I would be surprised if there's any form of multiplayer at all in the Resident Evil 2 remake. That makes me sad. Well, I guess that's it then for this podcast thing about the MC5 and R2 remake and the game awards. Yay! <laughs> all right. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, before I stop, I'll quickly mention that there's been basically nothing happening, Soul Cooper 6 news-wise. I don't know why 2B oh, and other stuff is well, taking ages to get released. There's a, there's a tiny thing. Oh yeah, the, uh, the, the patch you... thing? Mm, I, no, um, I just want to briefly mention, uh, if you want to buy the game on PC, it's currently 30% off until tomorrow. Uh, the date is the 7th of the 12th. <laughs> yeah, we we recorded this on the seventh. It, the, the sale goes away on the eighth. I can I can I can quickly mention also there was a little, like a tiny bit of news where they said that soonish there will be another patch released where they will fix some minor things. They will um, it, it'll be a balance update and they're fixing some minor bugs. So that should be coming soonish. Okay. And uh, ah. and before Akamete and Pimto break the podcast tool, I think I'll uh, stop here. So see you guys next time. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> oh no. Oh, ah. <laughs> you kicked me off the screen. <laughs>